Hi everyone, this is Paolo, so I'm back again for another how-to tutorial. On this series, I'm kicking off some AWS uh, tutorials. First off is I'm going to teach you how to set up your own web server for free. So if you sign up for Amazon Web Services, it comes on with some freebies. Some of the freebies are you get 12 months free of any of these products. So one of which is the Amazon EC2, which is basically creating your own machine on, their, on the Amazon Web Services. Another one is the Amazon RDS, which is for database, which we'll tackle on maybe the next tutorial. So for now, sign up and then sign into the console. Once you sign up, uh, this is probably what you get. So from here, click on services, you'll get all the different products AWS offer. So we're just going to tackle the AC2 product. You probably want to also switch to the region you want. Um, so right now I'm on the Sydney region. Uh, earlier I was on US West Oregon, so I switched to Sydney region. So this would, when I create my virtual private machine, it would be hosted on this region. So click on this big blue launch instance button and it would start a wizard. And on this wizard, it would show you all the different AMIs. So step one is the AMI or Amazon machine image. These are basically template of pre-configured OS. So there's Linux and scroll down a little bit, there's Windows and different flavors of Windows. Uh, for this tutorial, I wanna filter it all to the free tier only. So I'm gonna select Ubuntu Server 1604 for my server. And select that. And the next one is, it's the next step is gonna ask you for the instance type. So for the free tier, we only have T2 micro. So this instance type are basically different resources of uh, machines. So some are configured with higher memory or higher CPU and some optimized, other are optimized differently, like for network performance, etc. So for this one, we're just gonna select what they offer for free, which is good enough for us. So select that. And then we configure the instance, just keep everything default for now. Um, maybe for the enable termination protection, click that. So this prevents you from accidentally clicking terminate on your instance when you don't want to. So it's gonna prompt you again, okay. So click next. And this time it's gonna ask you for a storage. For the pre-tier, it's free for 30 gigs. So I'm gonna change my size to 30 gigs to accommodate that. And for the volume type, um, you can either select general purpose or magnetic storage. So SSD is faster, so I'm gonna select that. And for a tag, um, this is basically just key value. So I'm gonna say web server for the value and click on next and for the next step it's going to ask you for the security group basically this is the firewall so i'm going to create a new one and i'm going to say web server sec and give it web server security and i have ssh by default which is open to everyone on the internet so i'm going to add few more which is the HTTP which is for accessing over the browser so we have HTTP there and add another one which is HTTPS and click on review and launch and it's gonna give you a summary of what you just selected and when you click on launch it's gonna ask you for a key pair so this is very important this is the only time that you would be allowed to do this. So I'm gonna create a new key pair. I'm gonna give it the name of uh, web server and click download key pair. So I'm gonna save this on my desktop and I'm gonna click on launch instance. So this is gonna launch the instance, it's gonna create the machine. 
you could click on here to check the status and right now it's still on pending state I'm gonna go back later once this is all done and we could continue okay so the instance is now running yeah status checks are all good so what you want to do is copy the new public IP so copy this and launch your terminal let's try to connect earlier I downloaded the file on my desktop the keep keep air um, let me see so the name of the file is web server term let me clear that out uh, what you first need to do is change the permission on this file um, web server make it more restrictive so once it then let's try to connect so SSH let me zoom in SSH um, enter the key file and then the user for this server and hit enter um, you need to add the fingerprint for this host on your known host so just say yes and there you have it you're connected to your uh, instance uh, there's 20 package that can be updated so maybe the first thing you need to do is update your uh, instance so, so just run sudo up get update and that should get all the latest updates for your Ubuntu instance once that is done let's try installing a web server on um, some of my previous tutorials I install I enabled Apache on my local machine Mac so on this tutorial I'm gonna install nginx so say sudo app get install nginx nginx is also a web server which is more lightweight than Apache so let's say yes and it's downloading the package and setting it up for me and let's see if it's running so service nginx status yep looks like it's a go okay so let's check that public ip so the web server is now running so we managed to set up uh, our instance and install a web server on it so on my next tutorial i'm going to set up the amazon rds for the database and i'm going to install wordpress on this instance till next time if you want more please subscribe to my youtube channel